And during World War II, he is working at this top secret math and statistics lab um, right near Columbia University. I actually had no idea until I was researching this that there was <laughs> such a thing. It was kind of like the Manhattan Project, except it was actually in Manhattan. Um, it was all these very famous statisticians, including Wald. Um, and the, the story that I tell in the book is a group of generals come to this group, the statistical research group was called the SRG. They come to the SRG and they come to Wald and they say, well, we've noticed something funny. The planes that are coming back from flying missions over Germany, there's more bullet holes in some parts of them than others. They're getting hit more in the fuselage and they're getting hit less in the engines. And they said, we want to know how much more armor should we be putting on the places where the planes are getting hit more? Like, how much more heavily should we be armoring the fuselage? I mean, this is a real question, right? Because you don't want to put too much armor on or the plane won't fly, right? You don't want to put too little on or the plane's not safe. So they said, Abraham Wald, maybe is there some kind of mathematical formula you can give us, right, for like how many times more armor we should be putting on the parts of the plane that are getting hit more? And Wald says, you guys have it completely wrong. You have to put the armor where there are no bullet holes. Okay, this is like kind of weird, right? You put yourself in the position of the general. Like, why are you telling me to do the exact opposite of what makes sense? What Wald points out to them is that it's not that the Germans can't hit their planes on the engines. It's that the planes that get hit on the engines are the ones that are not coming back from Germany. So their sample, the ones that they're, the planes that they're seeing, that's not like a random sample from all the planes, right? Um, they are seeing the ones that didn't get shot in the engines and so didn't get shot down. So What's interesting about this is that he didn't actually give them the kind of answer they were expecting. Right? He didn't give them a formula. He didn't give them a spreadsheet. He didn't give them a number. Nonetheless, what he did was deeply mathematical. Mathematics is not just about numbers, right? I mean, mathematics is about understanding, and it's about taking a question and asking, what assumptions underlie that question? Is it correct? Is it even the right question in the first place? I mean, giving the answers to questions is like pretty easy, but asking the right question that is profound, and that's what mathematical thinking is really about.